Hello and welcome to Morningstar's LiveView Overview. LiveView is a fully functional web application that is served directly from the internal web server of our GenStar DC system controller and other products. In this video, we'll first take a look at how to connect to LiveView, and then we'll give you a quick drive through of the top level features of this exciting tool. Connecting to LiveView is a three step process. First, Connect the product to your local area network using an Ethernet cable. In this video, we'll be connecting to a GenStar. Our products are configured for a DHCP from the factory, which means the product should automatically connect your network if DHCP is enabled on the network gateway. Second, locate the serial number of the product, which can be found on the side of the unit. And finally, open a web browser and enter the NetBIOS name. The NetBIOS name is a URL that uniquely identifies the GenStar web server on your network and allows you to connect without knowing the assigned IP address. For GenStars, the NetBIOS name is GSMPPT and then the serial number. The LiveView web app should appear in your browser once it's done loading. Now that we've connected to LiveView, let's take a look around. The first page is the LiveView dashboard. It provides at a glance real time information about the system. You'll notice that information is organized into separate cards, and the dashboard can be customized by arranging or hiding these cards as you see fit. The next tab over is the commands page. Here you'll find several cards that contain controls for various actions. You can reset counters disable functionality, toggle a ready relay, and so forth. Up next is history. This tab is further sectioned into graphs, daily records, event log, and counters. Each of these sections displays historic information about the system, but in different ways and with varying granularity. Graphs displays hourly time strip data of key values so you can assess short term trends. Daily records provides a snapshot of each day's key values. Event log captures time stamped records of actions, changes in the system, and user actions, providing a detailed chronological record of events, which can be helpful for troubleshooting or making sure the system is operating exactly as expected. Counters show the full gamut of accumulation counters that track all manner of energy production and consumption throughout the system. Now let's take a look at settings. This tab lists all user configurable adjustments in one location, making it easy to access a particular adjustment for modification without needing to drill down into menus. The hypertext link will take you straight to the location and setup where the modification can be made. Setup is where edits are made to the product configuration. Adjustments are divided and grouped across multiple tabs for easier reference. A more expansive installer setup menu is available if you enter the installer access password. This provides a more expansive menu. These settings should only be adjusted by your qualified installer or solar professional. And last but not least is update. Choose the file stored on your PC or mobile device to update the product firmware. There's a check mark to enable automatic reboot after the firmware has been updated. In the process, you will lose connection with LiveView and the connection will automatically be restored once the product reboots automatically. The LiveView interface provides all the functionality you need to monitor, modify, troubleshoot, and update your Morningstar product. Thank you for watching our LiveView overview video. If you have more questions about LiveView or any of our products, please visit us on the web at www.morningstarcorp.com. Thank you.